She'll be having a celebration of her and her baby for the new year, and we're not doing that. We're having a vigil instead, mourning for her and crying for her, and it's not right. Mourning a loss while pleading for justice. San Antonio police are still trying to figure out how Savannah Soto and her boyfriend, Matthew Guerra, ended up dead in a car with gunshot wounds. In the last hour, the medical examiner says both deaths have been ruled as homicides. So far, no arrests made. SAPD did release this new surveillance video showing who they're calling people of interest. Detectives hope the newly released video will lead to the couple's killer. A clue in a callous crime. Clearly, it was a heinous act. Two days ago, San Antonio police found pregnant Savannah Soto and her boyfriend, Matthew Guerra, dead in a car on the northwest side. Now, they're sharing this surveillance video. We are hoping that uh, someone is able to identify the individuals that are seen in this video. McManus says this clip was taken not far or long before the gruesome discovery on Danny Kay. Detectives right now are combing through days of surveillance video from several different locations that the victims were known to be. These two people are who police are calling people of interest. One is in a dark pickup truck with a bed cover, likely a Chevy Silverado. The other is a silver Kia Optima, the same car where police found Savannah and Matthew's body. The medical examiner ruled Savannah's death as a homicide. They say she had a gunshot wound to the head. As for Matthew, they say he had a contact gunshot wound. What does that mean? It means that it was there. Police are treating this case as a double capital murder and hope someone can help solve it. You can remain anonymous. You do not have to give your name. Keep up to date with all of San Antonio's top news, weather, and so much more by clicking the like and subscribe buttons below. And once again, thanks for watching KSAT.